our guy, Sacramento legend, 916 legend, 49ers defensive lineman, Eric Armstead, joining us now on the Insiders with Kyle Madsen and James Ham. Eric, thanks so much for hopping on, man. Eric, can you hear us? Yep, I'm here. Hey, there he is, Eric. Thanks so much for hopping on with us today, man. Uh, we really appreciate it. I, I definitely want to talk some football with you, but first we got to talk about what you're doing with the Armstead Academic Project. Uh, you guys just partnered with uh, TFA California. That's uh, Teachers for America, California Capital Valley, and the Square Root Academy. Can you talk about some of the stuff that uh, you're doing with those two organizations? Yeah, no, we're really excited about those partnerships. And um, so we serve in a multitude of ways. You know, we focus on literacy with our elementary school students. So um, Teach for America was a perfect partnership, and we plan on hiring back teachers to. Um, help students with their reading um, outside of school hours. So we're really excited about that. And then our partnership with Square Root Academy, we're also really excited to provide um, more STEM programs for students as well too, which will be our uh, middle school students. And we plan on um, coming up with different programs that we can offer to the students in this, on the STEM front. Um, we're really excited about an AI program that we're going to be offering. So um, two great partnerships and really furthering, um, you know, our missions and our goals that we have as, as an organization. Eric, uh, great to talk to you. Um, you you are, like Kyle brought it up, you're a Sacramento legend. Uh, between your dad and you, your names have been synonymous with Sacramento for for decades at this point. How good does it feel to be able to give back to a community like Elk Grove where you grew up and it's it's what the second largest school district in California. It's absolutely huge. It's such a growing area, but you're giving a lot of kids hope that they can go and be a professional athlete or whatever they want to be just because of your path. Yeah, you know, um, I love being from Sacramento and I take pride in that. And um you know, I feel like it's my responsibility to inspire and help the ne next generation. You know, I want Sacramento to thrive and um, I want, you know, the people uh, from Sacramento to thrive as well, too. And so, you know, I've been so blessed throughout my life and it's my responsibility to help the next generation, um, whether that's on the sports front or, you know, whatever career or um, opportunities they have later in life. I feel uh, it's my responsibility to help them achieve their goals. Talking with Eric Armstead, 49ers defensive lineman. It's the Armstead Academic Project uh, doing a ton of really cool stuff with them. We'll have some more information uh, for uh, for you guys after this. But uh, Eric, you guys get a huge win against the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday night. And it feels to me, and I I'm not in the locker room. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not hanging out with you guys. But from week one, it felt like the this group on both sides of the ball is locked in in a way where um you know because the last couple of years it's been a was it three and five start and then a four and five start was there a concerted effort to make sure that the group this year did not get off to a slow start yeah um you know it was a focus for us in the off season was to you know not put ourselves in a hole and have to battle um for playoff position late in the year so we wanted to get off to a good start and you know play great football from the jump and you know we are doing that you know five and oh but taking it week by week um can't win a Super Bowl in october so our yeah. focus is just to get better each week and um you know see see where that leads us eric you're playing on one of the great defensive lines that we've seen in the nfl uh the the niners are they've invested so heavily in in that group that you're part of what is it like playing with Javon Har Hargrave and and Nick Bosa and e even like now we have Randy Gregory joining the squad? Just what is it like playing with that group and, and what do you guys think your ceiling is? Uh, you know, we have some some familiar faces, but some new faces too. And, you know, it takes getting to know each other and building some continuity together. But, you know, I think the sky's the limit for us and we realize how much – uh, our team has invested in us up front and you know we feel like it's our responsibility to go out there and dominate and, and uh win games so um that's our goal and we're going to continue to get better and better throughout the season and we just added a new piece as well too so we're excited about getting randy in the building and um 
bring him into the fold. Talking with Eric Armstead, 49ers defensive lineman, 15 regular season wins in a row, Eric. Uh, the offense rattling off 30 points in, in each of the first five games. I think it's eight consecutive regular season games now. They've eclipsed that 30-point mark. How does that change what you guys are doing as a defense when the offense is getting out to a lead and then and then keeping the foot on the gas like that? Yeah, um, you know, I think it's the best our offense has been since uh, I've been a Niner. Um, they're just dominating games and, you know, us for us defensively, um, we just want to get the ball back into their hands as fast as possible and keep putting the pressure on the opposing defense. So, man, it's been great to see. Um, they've been really dominant in every facet, run game and pass game. And, um, you know, it's it's been it's been fun watching them play on the sidelines. Eric Armstead here from the San Francisco 49ers. When you're looking at uh, Brock Purdy out there, there's been so many question marks about him coming into the season with the elbow, with you know him being the final pick in the draft, with just like being unproven and being the sort of the figurehead of a potentially great team. Just how do you think he's handled that, and how do you how do you look at him as a leader as you're looking as a defensive player across the across the aisle there? Um, I think he's handled it well. You know, I think uh, the narrative on Brock. You know, sometimes when player how you enter the league can uh, determine the narrative. And you know, if you're a first round pick, you're you're talented, and everyone's expecting all these things from you. And you get, you know, when you have success, you get those, um, you know, you get those rewards and all that thing, and all that comes with it. But you know, when you're a later round pick, um, you know, people question you, and you know, there's a narrative around that you have to prove yourself or you know, I think however you enter the league, you have to pre- prove yourself. And all Brock has done is, with his opportunities, play exceptionally well and um, done amazing things. So I think the narrative needs to change on him. And Brock's definitely in the MVP conversation in the league. And being the last pick of the draft to the MVP conversation is uh, is one hell of a story. And, you know, he's definitely deserving of it. It's proven that week in and week out. Eric, this has been really great. Thank you so much for your time, man. Uh, we really appreciate it. And we will uh, we'll talk to you again soon, man. Appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. Yep. Take care, man.